Good morning. Thank you very much for joining us. And the seated meditation should be one that allows you to feel both strong, well, strong, supported, comfortable, and awake. So all four of those things. Propping yourself on a block, a pillow, a chair, it doesn't matter, just something that you can actually be comfortable in for a few minutes. And as you do that, like take a few full body breaths and just let your body settle where you are. And then tap into the seed as the root, root down and lift way up in your spine. And add in the upper back, pull your shoulders up and back, kind of settling your shoulders, your arm bones toward the back of your spine. And in meditation, you may set your eyes to one spot or close them. It's whatever will keep you the most focused because it's the point of meditation is to create the focus. Yeah, we're just settling in meditation. As you log on, you'll just go ahead and take your seat. And in your time, take a few breaths. Look at the people just joining, either close your eyes or set your eyes to one spot. Lengthen again in your spine, root in your seat. And then generally in the meditation, I don't tell you to breathe any certain way, but check in with it, check in with the breath. And if it's super shallow, it may be an opportunity with your attention on it to create a little more depth or breath and a little bit more length. And then whatever it is that's going on either inside your head space or inside your physical space, that's cool, let it be there. And your goal right now is not focus your attention on that, right? It's there and you can acknowledge it. And then you put your attention back to your body. I will typically do a body inventory. I just start at what's on the ground and I feel the weight of it, and the energy of it because of natural imbalances in my body, I will try to square it, like try to get the weight equal, sits bone to sits bone. And then as the, as the pelvis feels square, I'll start to draw in from the lowest belly, from the front of the pubic bone and lift in and up. And that adds support, support to my spine. And with that engaged, the breath can move a little bit easier. And then what feels good to me is to lengthen up and back from shoulders 
going back, allowing the head to rest easy on the top of the spine. And just a couple more breaths. And then gently bring your hands to heart center. Thumbs to your forehead. And bow, namaste. And bring yourself to child's pose. We were gonna be joined by Rosie today. I see that everyone else has brought their pets, so I figure I should bring mine too. And we won't even call it dog yoga. And now right now in child's pose, you wanna tap into your ujjayi breath. And an ujjayi breath is simple. It's just a breath that fills your diaphragm, right? Like so you use the diaphragm, you pull the air in, expand your chest, and then let the air escape through the uh, nose, the throat, and start to build that breath. Build it way up, reach your arms long, press your hands into the earth, press them down, lift your arm bones up and add energy in your upper back. Like really start to tap into what it is that's going to move you. What's going to move you are the big muscles. Take in one more breath. Let the air out. Move yourself gently through down dog. If you wanna stop in a tabletop, that's great. Stop there and then press back to down dog. And in that, this down dog, you know, shift your weight a little bit, pedal at your feet. Play with the energy in your hands, lift your arm bones up, just really like make space, make space in your spine by using the thighs to pull. So you press down in your feet, you hug in on the legs and you pull with your legs to pull the pelvis back and up, tailbone reaching toward the ceiling really. And then press down in your hands and you're gonna lift the arm bones up and feel the upper back turn on. And then shift your weight around and just really like take it in, take it in in the joints, take it in in the muscles, start to really feel the heat, breathe in and breathe out. And in and out. Now with a lot of intentionality, you walk your feet just one foot at a time all the way to the top and go nice and slow, use a few breaths to get there really bringing awareness into the energy in the feet. When you get to the top, take your feet out, hip width, lengthen your spine, and then fold in ragdoll. And you can fold in a passive upper body ragdoll where your arms are folded and you're just hanging, or you can take your hands to the floor and kind of create active by pressing into the floor. And it really just depends on where you are this morning. Sometimes the active ragdoll actually gives you a little more space in the low back, but I want it to feel nice, not tense. Take a couple more breaths, just right here. One more, and it's a new dry breath, breathe in and breathe out. You'll drop your hands if they're not dropped already. Bring your feet in to where you move from. For me, it's right inside the pelvis. Lengthen the spine. Fold in. And then reach up extended mountain. And then bring your hands to your heart and just pause for a second. And breath. Now breathe in and reach up. Breathe out, fold forward. Lift and lengthen your spine. 
and then take it back, low push up and go nice and slow. If you wanna drop your knees on this first one, I think that's amazing. Up dog and downward facing dog, breathe out. Breath in and breath out, step forward. Lengthen your spine, fold, reach all the way up, fold all the way down, exhale. Start to really move with your breath. Inhale and lengthen, and then exhale, chaturanga. The exhale tightens the belly, and then up dog. Expand the chest with this inhale. Beautiful, downward facing dog, empty your air. In breath. Out breath, step forward. Lift, crown of your head in line with your spine and fold. Reach up, extended mountain. Fold forward, empty your air, tuck in. Lengthen the spine. Chaturanga with power in your legs and your hands. Up dog, shoulders go back, full breath. Down dog, breathe out. Set your gaze at the back of your mat. Empty, step or jump. Lift and lengthen, fold. All the way up, big reach. Fold forward. Half lift and chaturanga. Naturally the pace will pick up as we move up dog, downward facing dog, drishti sat, breathe in and breathe out. Step forward, lengthen your spine, gazes straight down at your floor. Fold, gazes back at the back of the mat where it was for down dog. Extended mountain, gaze forward or up. Fold forward, follow your eye gaze back. Lift and lengthen, see the spot on the floor. Low push up, keep your gaze steady. It'll keep your neck neutral, up dog, gaze forward now. Downward facing dog. In, out, step forward. Lift and lengthen, fold in. One more all the way up. Fold all the way down, <sighs> halfway lift. Go to low push up powerfully with your gaze set. Up dog, down dog, and breathe. Right here, bring all of your attention to the foundation, your hands and your feet. And more than that, from your hands to your shoulder girdle, from your feet to the pelvis. You can really root into the feet and notice how you can tighten in the pelvic floor. Root into the hands and notice how you can feel the energy in your upper shoulders. One more full Ujjayi breath. Breathe it out. Step or jump forward. Lengthen your spine. Fold. Come into chair pose. And just take a couple of breaths, like really like land it in your body, press into your feet, find that place where the tailbone can descend and you can still draw the low belly up where your shoulders can lift up and out, right? Like up and out. So your gaze is forward. If you look down, you're rounding your upper back and neck. Yeah, so look forward. And Alex, you can bring your hands to like gold post arms and pull back like this. Good, now bring your knees like back in line with your ankles, take a full breath in, fold forward. Halfway lift, chaturanga, it's low push up. Upward dog, shoulder straight back. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Your right foot steps forward for warrior one. Couple breaths here. And nice, like really press down in your back foot. Press down so much in your back heel that you can feel the left glute turn on. Press down there. And come into the right thigh, a little deeper lunge, breathe in. 
and just breathe out. Thumbs to the back of your room, breathe in. Low push up, breathe out. Up dog. Downward facing dog, exhale. Left foot forward, warrior one. Good, root into your feet, especially the right foot. You know, the left foot is natural, like you have a lot of weight there. So I'm not telling you to take the weight out, I'm telling you to balance it. If you press more on your right foot, you will feel some more energy in your right thigh. You can start to feel the femur pulling so the pelvis can square more. Ujjayi breath. Drishti forward. Fingertips reach to the sky. Arm bones reach back. One more breath, stay in. Low push up, thank you. Upward dog. Downward facing dog. Empty your air. Breathe in. And you breathe out. Step or jump forward. Lengthen the spine. Fold. Chair, breathe in. And then take it to a fold, breathe out. Halfway left in. Chaturanga, take it back. Up dog, spread your collarbones. Down dog, empty your air. Right foot forward, warrior one. Just one inhale, come right in. And then bring it right back down, chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Breath is a critical. Left foot forward, root down, breathe in, rise up. It's the exhale that takes you down. Up dog, the inhale brings you up. And the exhale takes you home, down dog. In breath, out breath, step or jump forward. Lift and lengthen and fold. Chair pose, ukatasan. Fold forward, halfway lift, and then chaturanga, up dog, stay in, down dog, warrior one, right foot, it's just one breath, breathe in, raise up, low push up. So when you come into your poses, do with intention, up dog, and then you press yourself back to down dog, bring your left foot forward, you root down, rise up. And then you take it right back down with your exhale, chaturanga, pressing into the floor. Up dog, shoulders back. Down dog, empty. Inhale. Exhale, step or jump forward. Lengthen and bow. Chair, seat down, arms up. Nice, fold forward, breathe out. Lengthen. Jump it back, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Right foot forward, warrior one. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Left foot forward, warrior one. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. Inhale. Exhale. Step or jump forward. Lengthen your spine. And bow. Deep chair. Seat goes down. Arms raise. Fold forward. Breathe out. Halfway lift. And chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog, warrior one, right foot. Breathe in, raise up. Warrior three. Breathe in, chair. Together in, fold forward. Half lift, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog. Warrior one, left foot forward. Warrior three. 
Keep reaching, breathe in. Right foot down, chair, and fold. Two choices, early crow or chaturanga. If you're doing a crow, it's just for the vinyasa purpose. Come in, breathe in, and breathe out, chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up, bend, stack, and open it. Flip your dog. Stay with me. This morning, the practice is being in the practice. Not being in the perfect, not being in the end product, being in the, being in the practice. Reach up, take it around a side plank. The right arm goes down. Five, four, three, two, last breath, chaturanga, up dog, downward facing dog, left leg up, bend, stack and open, you stay in this prop or flip your dog, when you flip the dog, do it for space, reach your knees away from your shoulders, Three, two, reach up, side plank, left arm down. Five, three, one more, chaturanga. Up dog, downward facing dog. <sighs> Hold down dog or do five leapfrogs. The leapfrogs, you'll bring your feet, you'll bring your feet so that you can pike your shoulders right over your wrists and you're gonna give five. One, or you stand down dog, two, three, four, and five, if you're not in down dog, go to down dog. Lift your right leg up, right knee into chest. Come into high plank, hold for three, two. Crescent lunge, right foot down, reach up and breathe. Power in your legs. And your goal is to get your shoulders over your own pelvis. You'll do that with a deeper knee bend in the front leg and more energy pressing into the back foot, shoulders right over pelvis. Then there's an intentional shift. You'll shift forward like a diagonal and then left arm to your right leg, twist. Keep the energy in both feet. Your gaze can be is set floor, hands, or beyond your right shoulder. Keep your head and neck in line with your spine. Ujjayi in, empty it out. Stay low, warrior two. Reverse it, straighten your front leg. Ooh, I don't know if y'all felt that, <laughs> but I did. Okay, come right in, extended side angle lunge. Forearm to the top of your thigh or hand to a block on the outside of your right foot. Deepen your breath. Your left hand, right now I'm just checking in with my pelvis to see if I think I'm as aligned as I can be. Left hand reaches right up out of your left shoulder, stacking your right arm under your left arm. You can choose to take your left arm over your ear, getting a longer reach, pinky finger toward the earth. Lift the front of the pelvis up, let your tailbone go toward your back heel. Ujjayi, your gaze set. 
reach your arm up, take it down, low push up, go easy, like slow and steady, up dog. Downward facing dog. <sighs> you can hold down dog. Or you can step it up for the leapfrogs. And it doesn't matter what you did last time. You can choose something different this time. Five. Four. You can hold a handstand. Three. And two. One. Meet and down dog. Ujjayi breath together, empty it out, left foot up, knee into chest, inhale high plank and hold. Keep lifting your knee into your chest, gaze is down. Last full breath in. On your exhale, you're gonna set your foot forward, rise up. Nice, and breathe. Remember starting with the stacking, shoulders over pelvis, deep knee bend, pressing and rooting into both feet. And then we'll take this intentional shift in our torso and then twist to the left. Gaze at your hands, the side wall, or over your left shoulder, rooted in your feet. Stay in with breath. Inhale. Let it out. Warrior two. Reverse. Oh, and straighten your front leg. Extended side angle. Choose your option. This side doesn't have to look like the other side. So you can do it differently. Check it out, feel it out. Play with different gaze. Like you want your neck in line with the spine, so you're gonna pull it back, but you can look straight down or you can follow your right hand up. If you take your right hand forward, you'll be looking under your own arm towards your own ceiling. Don't dump in the left arm, really press into it to lift the left shoulder out, keeping space between the shoulder and the neck. Root in your right foot. Reach up, chaturanga. Up dog. And downward facing dog. Ah. Bring your feet together, the back of your mat. Bend your knees, heels will go right over the ball mounts of your feet, take a breath in. Exhale, jump it forward. Lengthen your spine. Well done, fold. Come into chair, twist to the right. Goal is to try to keep your thighs parallel, right? So. Knees in one line right over your ankles, thighs parallel is gonna line up with hips parallel. Breath, empty it, twist left, come right in. Yeah, press down in your feet, breathe in, and breathe out, seat lower, <sighs> breathe in, and out. Inhale, exhale, fold down. Step your feet out. Grab your big toes for big, uh, big toe pose, lengthen your spine and hug in. Like pull, I see snowflakes. Shift to gorilla, just step on your hands. Let your toes touch your wrists, pull in. Your gaze is still, your eyes are wide open. You're seeing the back of your own mat. Release your hands from your feet. Bring your hands to the mat. Draw in for crow. Five total breaths, even in the prep. That's one. 
and two. And three. And four. Big five. And jump it back. Up dog. And down dog. Come to the ball mounds of your feet. Bring your feet together. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bend your knees. And jump it forward. Lengthen your spine. Fold. Extended mountain. Right side eagle. Wrap it up. Now you're just straight ahead with a soft laser like focus. Extended mountain. Don't move your gaze. Left side eagle. Keep it focused. Breathe in. And breathe out, squeeze. Inhale. Breathe out. One more. Empty it out. Gaze fixed, extended mountain. Right side eagle. Extended mountain. Left side eagle. Extended mountain. Hands to your hips. Take a breath. Set your feet. Lift your right leg up. Bent knee or straight leg. Go ahead and give yourself the challenge today. Yeah. And then with your straight leg, you're going to keep drawing your right hip down. Bring it out to the right. Left arm out or up. You can find that place of balance. Come back to center. Left arm up, right arm up, airplane. Root into your left foot, extend your right leg back. Lift the chest, but draw the bottommost ribs toward the pelvis, lengthen your spine. Your lumbar spine lengthening. Hands to heart, crawl your hands down your standing leg for standing splits. If you need to take your hands to the floor, it's cool, do that. Otherwise you'll grab your standing ankle, pull in. Both hands to the floor, left hand to a block or the floor, open up half moon. Take the bind if it's there, sugar cane. Three, two, your gaze can go up, last full breath and foot goes down, extended mountain. Hands to heart, hands to hips, left leg up. You know, and so what's kind of healthy is you can start with a bent knee, really pull your knee into your chest and then grab onto your foot, your foot or your big toe, then extend. So first it's in front, right arm up. And then you take it out to the left, reach your arm out if you want. Gaze forward, breath full. It's all right. If you lose it, you just come right back. It is really not a big deal at all. Remember that the goal in this is the practice, not the perfect. Come back to center and make it into airplane. Beautiful. So you give yourself grace and instant forgiveness for not being perfect and acknowledge that Doing the work is the goal. Hands to heart. Crawl your hands down your right leg, your standing leg. Keep lifting your left foot higher, standing split, breathe. And then hands to the floor. 
Right hand to a block or the floor. Spin open, half moon. And take it, take it easy, right? Like just go in. Trust yourself, trust your balance. When you land in half moon, if you wanna do the bind, do that. Do it to make the pose bigger, better, brighter for you. Not because there's some goal. Two more. Last breath. And then foot down, exhale. Pick up your strap if you have one and come up, extended mountain, give your arms a big reach. Dance or pose right side. Set it up, breathe and go. Five, four, gaze forward, three, two, last full breath, and gently come out, set your right foot down, left side, set it up, and go, five, four, three, gaze up, two, Last full breath and sit it down, right side, dancer. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, fullest expression and put it down, left side, seven, six, five, four, mm -hmm. three, morning junior standing leg, two, last full breath, and set it down. Oh, let go of the strap. Find your mountain pose. Breathe in and out, tree, right leg up. Keep your drishti focus forward if you can as you bring your right foot in. Press your palms together to start. You really like feel the energy palm to palm. Feel the energy in the center of your body lifting the pubic bone all the way up to the sternum. And then if you wanna grow, if you wanna take your arms up, you may, but do it from that place of center line, integrity. More full breath, breathe in. Breathe out. Hands through heart center, foot down, mountain, hands by your side. Left side, keep your drishti forward. Left foot in, and your foundation has never changed. It's still feet, pelvis, hands, hasta banda, press them together, pull back. That will lock in the shoulders. From the pelvis, mula banda, uddiyana banda, tightening up to lift you up, and then expand if you want. And the expansion is not mandatory. You do it when it feels good, when it takes your pose to a place that you're after, that you wanna to go to, not because it's expected, because you choose it. Hands through heart center, foot down, gaze is still forward. Now breathe in and reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Lift and lengthen your spine and spring back, chaturanga. Upward dog, shoulders back, breathe in. Land and down dog, exhale. Take a big breath in and a sigh, breathe in. And ha, 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 ha. Now ujjayi breath and empty. 
Right foot, warrior one. Give yourself a few breaths in warrior one. Breathe in, rise up. Warrior two. Give yourself a few breaths in warrior two. Come into the broadest, most stable warrior two of your life. Root into your feet. From the feet, femurs draw into the pelvis. Lift the front of the pelvis, square the shoulders over the pelvis as much as you can. Trikonasana, triangle pose. You can straighten your leg, you can reverse your warrior, you choose, come in. Make sure you have three points connected to the earth. You can use blocks or water bottles as props. And really press into your right hand so that your right shoulder is reaching away from the neck so that both shoulders are reaching to your back. Full Ujjayi breath. And your drishti, your gaze can go up at your left hand. Wide leg is straddle fold. You'll just turn your right toes in. And press down. Try to get your weight in the ball mounds of your feet. Make the weight in your heels a little lighter. Squeeze the quadriceps, draw your chest through the window of your thighs. And then gently walk your hands forward. Bring your spine to a halfway lift. Bring your hands to your hips and rise up. Turn your feet for pyramid pose. And you can take your hands in a reverse namaste, which is your hands will come back behind you, palms reaching toward each other, or you can turn it down if that's too much for your shoulders. Reverse namaste. Root into the feet a lot. Now pull the tailbone down. Keep your head in line with your spine. You're gonna fold halfway. And the halfway, like your sternum is reaching like right over your right leg. Keep pressing in your back foot. Now reach your sternum toward your right knee, your head toward your right ankle. Hold your bind. Ujjayi breath, eyes wide open. Drop your hands. Bring your left hand to a block, lift halfway. From your left hand, twist open, twisting triangle for three. Two. Last full breath. And hands down. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga, up dog, down dog. I just wanted to see if y'all were still there. Left leg forward, warrior one. Give yourself the gift of being here in the practice. Baron always distinguishes between your practice and the practice. And this morning you signed up for the practice. So give yourself the opportunity to be in it. You can do your practice anytime. Warrior two. Give yourself a moment to be in the strong, broadest warrior two of your life. Press into both feet and feel the energy of the femurs pulling into the pelvis. You press down to lift in.
gaze over your left hand, but bring your head neck in line with your shoulders. Some of you, your heads are dropping down. Bring your head up and triangle. When you're ready, move in. Press down, lift up, make space. Okay, come up and turn your toes to the right. You're gonna do an arm bind. I'll need a strap for it, but you can clasp your hands behind you. You're gonna squeeze and pull the shoulders onto your back, draw the low belly in, and then hinge over your legs, wide legged straddle with the bind. You wanna root into your feet. Keep working your weight forward as you take your hands, reaching them over your own head. Reach your chest through the window of your thighs. Two more. Now use your arms. You're gonna reach your arms to the ceiling and then you're gonna reach your arms to your back wall to lift up and then all the way up. Reverse namaste, forward fold, so pyramid legs. Reverse namaste hands and arms, lengthen. Pull the tailbone back down and then fold over your left leg. You'll stop at the halfway point. You wanna stop there one to adjust so that you can really press into your feet, take your tailbone back, but it also it'll give the hamstring a little forgiveness and then come all the way down. And drop your hands, find your block. Twisting triangle. I take my block to the inside of my left foot. You can take it to the outside if you can keep your hips square that way. I really lose the pose when I do that, but please do what works in your body. One more full breath. And empty. Ah, hands come down. Step back, chaturanga. Up dog. Up dog. No, we're just an up dog, that's it. Up dog, up dog, up dog. Okay, down dog. We'll inhale the high plank. Lower down, five, four, three, two, press back up. Lower down, five, four, three, two, press back up. Lower all the way down to the floor. Place an ear on the floor and breathe. I'm gonna move through our belly back bends. Center your chin on the floor, anchor your feet into the mat. From the sternum, lift up, locust. Once you've lifted in the sternum, you can lift your feet. Really press your feet back to lift up. Ujjayi, your gaze is down and forward. One more breath and drop it down. Opposite ear to the floor. Go back up, locust number two. Maybe change your arms. You can reach your arms forward. You can do parachute arms. You can interlace your hands. Three, two, one more. And drop it down. Ear to the mat, arms by your side. Come into floor bow. Down your asana, you can bend your knees and grab onto ankles, feet. Press down to lift up. You wanna really use the arms, like you wanna squeeze your arm muscles onto the bone. 
and pull against your feet. Breath and come down. Last belly back bend. Reach back for your feet or ankles. Grab on and go up. One. Keep your head neck neutral. Two. Press into your feet. Three. Two. Last full breath. You're going to drop it down. Exhale. Inhale to up dog. Press into your feet, squeeze your thighs, breathe in. Downward facing dog. Breathe in down dog. Set your drishti at the back of your mat. Drop your knees, camel pose. You're gonna take your knees out of the pelvis. First, set it all up, like hug into the core. I will integrate my shoulders in cactus arms. I'm gonna, I turn my toes under. It doesn't matter, whatever feels stable in your body. Open, hands can come to your thighs. Chin comes back to let your head and neck drop. Three. <sighs> Two, last full breath. When you exhale, chin to chest, come up. You're taking a drink early. <laughs> Get a drink. Oh. <sighs> Set your eyes or close them. Come straight to the breath. Let's do one more camel pose. When you get in camel, take a big breath and then lion. <sighs> And then Ujjayi. And come up and out. You can go through down dog if you want. Sometimes it feels good to stretch the spine all the way out again. And then you wanna gently step or float into onto your back and come into bridge pose. And bridge, breathe. Remember your foundation, your feet. Separate your toes, press into your feet. From your feet to your thighs, hug into the pelvis. You're gonna lift the pelvis with the power of the legs and the seat. Your shoulders, your hands, you can take your hands to the floor and press down, or you can reach your fingers like toward the ceiling in an L with your arms, press your shoulders into the mat. Ujjayi breath. Gaze on your ceiling. One more. Gently roll your spine down. We have six more back bends. You can choose bridge or wheel or a combination of that. We're not going to hold them for a very long time, except for maybe one in there. So I will cue you into the one that will be held. In the meantime, just go up, bridge your wheel, press down, rise up. And you can do a hybrid where you take your hands and just go to your head and breathe and then come down. Breath in. So you're gonna exhale completely. You're using the end of the exhale to push up. And then the first breath in your pose is a breath in and then come down. Breathe in. 
And breathe out, press down. Come down. Breathe in and breathe out, go up. And come down. If my count is right, that was four. This next one will be the longest breath. Breathe in and breathe out, press down and go up. If you're playing with a wheel, this is the time to do it for five, four, three, two, and come down. Last back bend of this practice, breathe in and go up. One more breath, come down. One vertebra at a time, settle into the mat. <sighs> Feet together, knees out. Butterfly, Supta Baddha Konasana. Gaze at the ceiling or you can close your eyes and place your hands where they feel natural. And as you're here resting, take in the sensation of relaxation, breath. You may feel your heartbeat. And bring your knees to your chest and give them a squeeze in. Like really squeeze in, create a hug with your arms. See if you can even wrap your arms so that you can grab onto your own elbows around your legs, squeeze and hug, squeeze and hug. And then extend your legs to the ceiling and release your hands behind your head. Press your head into your hands. Curl up and hold. Curl up again and hold. Drop your right leg toward the floor. Pulse from here. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, hold. Right leg comes up, curl up, hold, breathe. Gazes at your toes, press your head into your hands. Left leg down, pulse, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Hold, left leg up, keep curled, scissors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend your knees, curl up, extend your right leg, reach to the left, breath, come back to center. Extend your left, reach to the right, come to center. Right to left uh, knee, center, twist right, center, left, center, right, center, left, center, right, center, left. Hug your knees in. Take your hands under your low back, extend your legs to the ceiling. Press your shoulders into the floor. Lower your legs one third. Two. Take your legs to a hover. Just lift your head off the floor. Take your legs back up. Shoulders on the floor, head on the floor. Lower one third. Two. Hover. Just lift your head, chin to chest. Five, four, three, two, one. Legs up. Rock up and back into boat navasan. Rock and roll. Down dog.
We're going to move into opening the hips. If you would like to um, do your half pigeon in phases, you can do that. You'll know what to do. Otherwise, come into half pigeon pose. When you're in the sequence, closing your drift down, your eye gaze down is beautiful. Let's stick with Ujjayi breath. Remember your foundation, especially your feet, your back leg, press into your foot. Pull some energy from the thigh bones into the pelvis and see if you can get a little more space in the muscles surrounding your hips. want to try to drop down and take the tension out of your shoulders. You can use a block if you need one. Give this pose four more breaths. yourself up. Spend a couple of breaths, maybe deepening the stretch in the front of your body, pulling your shoulders back. And then take yourself into down dog. And breathe in down dog. Three big breaths. Come into half pigeon, opposite leg forward. And take your time in your setup. Use your breath, acknowledge your body where you need to give it a little bit more forgiveness. Use your props if you need them. And then once you settle, you settle into breath. If there's any tension left in your shoulders, head and neck, take it out. Four more breaths. come up, spend some time getting a little bigger stretch. And then on this side, you'll go to double pigeon, bring your back leg around. Take some time in your setup. Get your pelvis square, shoulders on your back. And then if you want, you can hinge forward. Your drishti can shut down or your eyes can be open. Stay focused either way. And come up and you'll switch sides. So 
So the top leg goes to the bottom leg. Bottom leg comes on top. Three or four more breaths. You'll just take uh, your right, your left leg long, right leg into your left thigh. Big reach with your right arm and fold over your left leg. Switch sides. Legs forward, big reach. Soften your knees so you can fold deeply over your legs. Reverse tabletop. Take an open mouth sigh, exhale. Fish pose, go down, tuck your hands underneath, up on your elbows, drop your head back. Slowly come out of that, tucking your chin. And bring your knees into your chest. You can go straight into a shoulder stand or you can flip over and do a headstand or a handstand. Few breaths in your inversion. If you choose shoulder stand, you'll do seven breaths in the shoulder stand and work into plow. Headstand, you'll do seven breaths in the full form of the pose. From plow, you'll go to ear pressure pose. From headstand to child's pose. Ear pressure pose, roll out to happy baby. From child's pose, flip over to happy baby. So we're meeting on the back. Feet wide. And for happy baby, you really wanna to work to get your whole spine on the mat. Your feet and shins are at right angles with like your knees and your pelvis. You pull your feet down, so you pull your knees toward the mat. And bring your knees together and shift into a twist. You could do leg over leg or full extension. Gently, you'll switch sides. Shift your hips back to the left as you cross over or extend. A little self-assist, you can take your hand and grab your hip and pull it right over the bottom hip.
come to center. Give your knees one more squeeze, one more big, tight squeeze. Let your eyes shut down. And bring your feet together and knees out for butterfly. Let your arms drop where they're comfortable, palms up. Intentionally loosen your jaw. When you're ready, Shavasana. Your version of complete rest. to stay at ease and your breath to be easy. Lengthen your breath. Bring your knees to your chest. Roll to your side. and press to your seat. Hands to heart center. Thumbs to forehead. I see you together, namaste. Good work. Did you all applaud? Did I see you clapping. Okay, good. Just checking. <laughs> you need to.